Hey guys, this is a review of 2021 Kawasaki Versus 650 ABS. I purchased this vehicle for myself for roughly 10,000 after all the tax and dealership fees. Uh, and after uh, I uh, traded in my old bike, uh, Yamaha FC6R, and uh, it's been awesome. So Versus is a mixture of dual sport, standard, adventure, sport, and touring. So it has all the aspects that I, that I really wanted in my bike. And its name comes from the words versatile and system. So it's a really good bike uh, for people uh, who are indecisive like me. And then adding on to the a previous model it has ABS and it was the first time I uh, read on a motorcycle that has ABS and it was awesome and the general styling was very good and um, I'm definitely gonna get rid of this uh, ugly fender but more mod videos coming up soon Versus was first introduced to the US market in 2008 and had one style update in 2010 and another one in 2015. This model I bought uh, borrows the same styling as 2015 but it doesn't look outdated at all. The engine is based on the same platform as the Ninja 650R and the only difference is the riding position rear subframe and suspension. So this 650cc liquid-cooled four-stroke parallel twin engine has a lot of bottom and mid-range torque with 68 horsepower and 47 pound-feet of torque. And it has the adjustable windshield that I love. The front panel might look a little bit outdated but um, it does its job and as you can see there's two uh, ports that I could use and I'm thinking of adding a handle heat warmer and a USB charger and it has more buttons like hazard button and then this pass button that was added on uh, more from my bike previously and I love it and then it's so lean and it also has a, a very good brake system and then this is a stock exhaust I wasn't able to film and record the sound of it I'm thinking of upgrading the exhaust to um, any other uh, exhaust providers uh, let me know what exhaust you want to see on this bike on the uh, comment below and here is me trying to show um, how this bike uh, fits for me so I'm six feet tall and with an uh, inseam of 32 inches and I could balance the bike by tiptoeing, so it was it's uh, similar to riding V-Strom or Africa Twin. And um, if I steered the bike a little bit to the side when I'm uh, in the stop, then I could uh, flat foot it, just like that. And it has the adjustable uh, rear shock absorber for rebound damping, which uh, you could change it into a sports mode. And there is another electrical port that you could use to maybe you warm your heat, or warm your seat. And here is a demonstration of the pass button.
in the front has dual lights and I love the look of it and here are the videos